Well, the mother of a five-year-old shot in Durham says her daughter had just gotten off the school bus when gunfire erupted. It happened just off of Dearborn Drive at Old Oxford Road. A 16-year-old also caught in the drive-by shooting. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is live at the Durham Police Department hearing from police, city leaders, and witnesses. Mariah. Yeah, we also reached out to family members who tell us the youngest victim in this situation is Madison Foy. She was actually part of a large family. She's uh, one of seven siblings, and they said she was actually getting ready for her sixth birthday celebration this weekend. They're relieved that she is recovering, but say she is still very shaken by what happened. A little girl doing what she loves most. Family members say it's video of five-year-old Madison Foy, who is now recovering in a hospital. They say she was shot twice Tuesday, along with a 16-year-old boy, just before 3 o'clock near Old Oxford Road. When I opened the door, that's when everybody was, like, down to the ground and screaming. Tracy Tabron, a neighbor, noticed the bullets that hit her car. She and others called 911. Officers say the gunfire came from a vehicle driving through the neighborhood. People in the area described hearing multiple gunshots. In fact, you could still see where those bullets hit on the side of this car here. Neighbors said all this happened when kids were getting off of a school bus. You know, what was so important that you, you know, it couldn't be talked out, you know, that y'all would rather do stuff in broad daylight, you know, knowing that kids was literally just getting off the bus. The shooting comes just months after someone shot an eight-year-old girl. Durham police releasing this video showing the suspect firing round after round into a home. Last year, Durham police responded to 35 shootings involving juveniles. So we're seeing much more brazen activity. So this has got to be all hands on deck. Mayor Pro Tem Mark Anthony Middleton in D.C. talking with legislators says his heart is in Durham as the investigation continues. He says in the middle of growth and forwardness. Less than two miles from our city center, we have young people that are being trained like soldiers to jump off of their bikes and duck and cover behind garbage cans. Um, that's Durham as well. And until we reconcile those two, our celebrations will always have an asterisk next to it. This is what I, this is what we have to give our kids, you know, you probably can't come outside, you can't do this, that, because even though it's pretty right now, anything can happen right now as we're speaking. Mayor Pro Tem Mark Anthony Middleton, who also supported ShotSpotter, says that they continue to listen to families, hear their concerns, and says that they continue to also reach out to families and make sure that they keep Durham's most vulnerable populations a top priority, especially when it comes to safety. And Durham, Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. And Mariah, while all of this is going on and the family is dealing with it and we hope for recovery for everyone, they're still looking for a suspect or suspects, the people responsible for this. What are police telling you about that part of the investigation. Yeah, Russ, uh, Durham police do not have anyone in custody at this point and did not have any additional details of that vehicle that they might be searching for. They also wanted to make sure that people are aware of Crime Stoppers and reminded that people who actually have information that leads to an arrest can possibly receive a $2,000 reward. Hopefully someone will come forward indeed. Mariah Ellis, thanks for that update.